Backup and Recovery. Backup is the process of making a copy of data to a separate media to prevent the loss of data should the original copy be damaged or lost. This involves duplicating data in each directory of the system's hard disk or solid state drive and copying it to an external device or a network location such as the cloud. Recovery is the opposite process whereby the backed up copy of data is restored and copied back into the operational system. So the system went down, we've got our backup medium that we stored our backup onto, and then we revive the system by putting the data back into our system. So backups are necessary for restoring data as the system may have been compromised or the data may have been lost for the following reasons. Okay, the loss of data through electronic failure, such as a blackout, you've lost all your data. Okay, mechanical fault of the hardware. Okay, your hard disk actually fails and thus you've lost the data on it. Software errors. Okay, and these software errors can come in the form of malicious software. Okay, or it could be just some software got corrupt and it crashed and then you've lost access to files. Okay, and then we have operator or user generated error. Okay, where an individual has accidentally done something wrong on the system. Okay, and then they might have accidentally deleted a file or caused a whole directory to crash. Something like that. Okay, and then we need to fix it and obviously get that data back. Generally, there are two types of backups. Full backups and partial backups. Now, firstly is the full backup, which copies all the data within the system which is every file in every directory within the system's hard drive okay, or solid state drive is duplicated to that external device, whether it be um, just a separate hard drive or something on a server such as the cloud. It could also include a complete copy as well of the actual application software. But these days, it's quite easy to re-download things from a server, provided we've kept our product keys and all that. Okay, And obviously, these are large programs, so they'll take up a lot of space on our backup drives. Full backups are the easiest to restore as you only need the most recent full backup, okay, that one uh, obviously storage device that has that full backup to put it all back on the system. The issue with conducting full backups though is copying all these files, every file on the system takes a long time and consumes a large amount of storage and network resources. Okay, so it takes heaps of time to do. You need obviously large uh, backup medium storage capacity to store that data onto, onto. these days terabytes of data especially on a system uh, that is being used for a business and while the backup is happening the system can't be in use so that's why it consumes network resources so for this reason it's often impractical to perform full backups on a daily basis instead it's better to practice the full backups okay to be made maybe on a weekly basis okay and usually happening at off-peak times so it might be at the end of the working week on a friday afternoon the backup is then conducted as not much work is then being done as everyone's left for work for the weekend Okay, so obviously that backup needs to continue uninterrupted and for the uh, data to be copied correctly and obviously the backup to work correctly. Moving on then is partial backups. Now, a partial backup is completed to save this time and resources of backing up the data. They back up only files that have been changed since the last full backup. Okay, and obviously this is saving us time because we're not backing up everything on the system. We're only backing up data that has changed since the data was last full backed up. Okay, so when performing a partial backup, a full backup still needs to be uh, completed first. And as we said, we're still got to do that at least once a week. Okay, and then on a more frequent basis, we do these partial backups. So they could be occurring daily. Partial backups are used instead of performing constant full backups since they are only backing up data that has changed since the last full back. Okay, and since they're doing that, there is less data to store, making the process of backing up faster and consuming less ne network resources, okay, as it is only backing up less of the directories because they're the only ones that have been updated during that time since the previous backup. So now there are two types of backups that we talk about for partial backups, a differential and incremental backup. And what we'll do is we're going to look at these two side by side. So firstly, a differential backup copies all files that have been created or changed since the last full backup. Okay, it ignores every other type of backup that has occurred since that last full backup. It only sees the last full backup and it will back up all data has changed since then. So if there was a another differential that say took place on a Tuesday that week, okay, and then you're doing another differential on the Wednesday, it ignores the Tuesday backup that took place. This differs with incremental as it backs up all files that have been created or updated since the last full or incremental backup. Okay, thus it is only backing up files that have never been backed up. So it acknowledges previous partial backups, specifically incremental, that have taken place and only backs up data that has not been backed up since the last full or incremental backup. 
So when recovering files then, you only need in a differential the last full backup and the last differential backup in order to retrieve all the files. So it's rather simple, okay? But obviously the differentials get longer and longer to do the more time that occurs between the full backup and the most recent differential. Whereas with an incremental, recovering files involves the last full backup, but also each of the incremental backups that have taken place since that last full backup entered in order in order to fully retrieve the data for the system to be operational once again. So illustrating a differential first, I need the last full backup and the last differential and then bang, my system's fully restored. Okay. With incremental, I need the last full backup and then all the incrementals that have occurred in order taking place in order for the system to get fully restored. So in a way, incremental backups when doing them are quicker because we're only backing up data that hasn't been backed up yet. But when it comes to restoring, it obviously involves more files. Whereas a differential, they, the backups start to take longer as the days go by because it's ignoring all the previous differentials. But if it does come to restore, we only need obviously the last differential along with the full backup. So they both got their pros and cons to them uh, in which one you would use for each situation. Now, for this reason, okay, in differentials, files don't get marked as being backup because the differentials ignore all the previous differentials. But obviously in incremental, you do need to mark files as being backed up because the incrementals do acknowledge previous incremental backups. And obviously that resets every time the new full backup has taken place. Okay, finally, as mentioned, the differentials take longer because only one partial backup is necessary to store, but the incremental backups are quicker, but you're doing multiple frequent backups, okay? And then you need all those files if you do restore the system. So I hope this video has given you understanding of backup and recovery. Essentially backup, copying the data to a separate medium in case the system fails and recovery, restoring that data back onto the system, as well as the types of backups that we do. Full backups, which backs up everything on the system. And then the partial backups, which are quicker and more resource efficient, okay? In which they're done in conjunction with a full backup, but obviously we have to do them on a more frequent basis and obviously follow the set rules, whether it be differential or incremental, okay, in order to restore a system correctly.